Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Guess what everybody? I got some real bargain goodies to share with you. So, I think it was two days ago. Um, I think it was a Friday. Yeah, Friday here in Australia. I woke up and you know, in the morning before I get out of bed, I like to check the online spotlight sometimes to see if I'm like, you know, missing out on a major bargain or there's some good deals going on that I need to go check it out. So I did that on a Friday morning and I saw that they had a six by six um, gather from the Maggie Holmes collection. Now gather is a collection that I do like and that was the only collection I was able to find that spotlight when I first um, started crafting more. Uh, that was like three, three and a half years ago, maybe something like that. And I didn't get to find uh, Maggie Home Papers like many of the crafters did in USA. But the spotlight several, many years ago, when I went to look for some kind of Maggie Home related item, I got to find a box, a Project Life card box, and that was the Gather collection. So the only Gather collection I've ever, ever owned was the um, Project Life card that came with the four by sixes and the three by four cards. And I still have some of them because I treasure them. I have sent some out and shared with people as well, but then, I've like I've been like cherishing it and I haven't been able to create much with it and Spotlight online showed that it had that the Maggie Holmes gather collection which was a six by six uh, paper pad for six dollars so my brain is ticking and ticking and going oh my gosh I need as soon as it opens I need to get there to go find that six by six gather paper pad well I got my children, I fed my children breakfast and then we said, okay, let's go. So we went to the spotlight and this time I drove 20 minutes to go to the spotlight a um, little bit further away because this further one is the more larger one and they seem to always have better stock. So even though I don't love driving, I decided that I'm gonna go because I think they, on the website, it said that that location had low stock. So I was really hoping and hoping that I would find it. Well, I went there, even though it was in the morning, a little past nine o'clock in the morning, I could not find it. I looked high and low, like I looked at all of the paper aisle, I looked up and down, I got my children to find it for me as well. There was just nothing, it was gone. It was just gone and obviously the website wasn't updated. So. I decided, okay, I'm here now. I'm gonna see what else I might find. So I got to find some goodies, like you guys can see here. So let me go ahead and share with you all what I found. Maybe I'll start off with the big ones and then I will show you the little things that I did get to find. So I went to find the Maggie Holmes Gather. I couldn't find it, but I found this at the very bottom shelf, and it had a clearance price tag uh, pointing to this, and it said it was twelve dollars. So I th and this was the only one. So I thought, okay, for twelve dollars, that's a really good price. So I thought I'm gonna definitely buy it. But as I was flicking through the paper, I'll turn it around to show you. Look, it's got a torn bit at the back. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's torn, it's damaged. I don't think I can take it home with me. But I did a quick flip and everything seemed to be okay, except for this corner um, back paper, this corner bit, little bit, you know, worn out looking. And I thought that's okay because, you know, when you cut out paper, you get bits of scraps that you chuck out anyway. So I thought that's okay. So I, um, I had this in my um, trolley. So that was that. I'll do a quick flip for those of you who are very new to crafting and maybe want to know what um, carousel looks like. So I love the cutter part. I did have a carousel uh, before as well and I did use it all up. And But long time ago, I had to pay a lot more than $12 to be able to craft with it. 
So $12 here in Australia, this is a major bargain. So I just couldn't leave it there and it was the only one. It kind of felt like it was sort of waiting for me to grab it. So I did. So this is the cut apart sheet. Um, I'm gonna do it this way so it's not too difficult to show you guys. Um, this is a nice page too. This is lovely. So I am going to get to create with this collection again. Just like how I revisited the Maggie Home Sony Days, I'm going to have fun um, revisiting this because when I did use this paper pad long time ago, I was pretty just quite new to the um, crafty world other than scrapbooking. So this is a lovely page, but I really love this one. I love the pattern on this. I love the glittery magic on here. Can you see? Look at that. Super pretty. And it is a really nice quality um, paper as well. This one is a little bit busy, but I think I know what I'm going to do with it. Really love the, um, you know, the shadow effect of the dots. I love this too. I really love this. This is a nice pattern also. I absolutely love this page. And I think you guys know why I love this page. It's a great mixture of embellishment bases in my head or great for journaling. This is a page of Swan. I will not be using this for Swan journal because I've basically completed my Swan journal for the month of May. Uh, with the Marianne and I from Marianne's Craft Corner, we do hashtag monthly journal share and we have a theme each month that we share on every 28th of each month. And for May, it is Swan and I have basically completed it. So I won't be using that paper. I absolutely love this page of stars. It's got lots of different size stars and it's printed on a, like a really faint uh, ledger paper look. So I love that. This is a really nice page too. When you look at it like this, it might seem boring, but you can do this with, you know, you can create cards with like this much, this pattern here, or you can cut it in strips like this and make rosettes and it'll create a beautiful um, colors together. It can be a great scrapbook page as well. Love this page, really nice. Beautiful colors, love this um, color here glitter effect. This one you can cut along the circle lines like this to create interesting border or pocket for the journal. And this is like peacock in my eye. I think it is supposed to be peacock feather um, page. I do want to do a peacock journal. I love the meaning of the peacock so I really want to one day. This I really love. Now this is the kind of page I can't really use as is. I would definitely have to fussy cut it. Love this page. Beautiful shade of green. Absolutely love cut apart sheets. You guys know how much I adore any cut apart sheets because cut apart sheets gives me so much more than what it is. Like some people might just think it's a pattern paper in for sole. It's more than pattern paper. It's ephemera pack. It's embellishment base. It's a special touch to the, um, you know, your project. It can be added to journals. It can become a pocket. I just love cut apart pieces. And this is a really nice color. Super, super beautiful. Love this as well, the tent. The kites. I really think I might turn these into shakers. I'm not sure. But once again, with this one, you can fussy cut along the, um, you know, scallop bits to create interesting page. Same goes with this one. Uh, you can cut out a flower shape like this if you wanted to. Or you can just cut out like, you know, for the uh, edge of your page, you can cut out shapes like this on each side to create a nice border strip as well. Love this page. I would definitely cut apart the letters and use it differently, of course. This is a beautiful page. The zebra, really nice page. Simply because it's printed on a faint ledger page. I love that. Yellow, I'm, you know, I've definitely like yellow more than I used to before the pandemic. 
and that was the damage page. So the lady gave it to me for $10 instead of 12 because this is damaged. So she was super nice. I was super thankful. Now this, I got to find this too. This is another um, crepe paper. Now I'm not sure if this was part of Maggie Holmes or not, but Alicia from Love Letter Generation shared that she recently found this at Spotlight and she was really surprised that they had it. And I thought, how lucky is Alicia to find this? Because, okay, let me move that pack out because I bought two packs. This one I already opened. Now, I thought that Alicia was just super lucky because Victoria seemed to have a lot more stock than here in Gold Coast. So I thought maybe she was just really lucky that day and her store had this available and it was just waiting for her to grab it. Well, I was really lucky too. They actually had several packs of this um, hanging at the um, end of the aisle. So I thought, you know what? I've never played with this. I want to try it. I love the pattern that I'm seeing. I love the colors I'm seeing. It is perfect for journal making, so I had to grab it. So let me show you what this is. I really love this, you guys, so much. Uh, this I love too, but the other side. Can you see how much I would love using this pattern paper? This is like a dream for me. I absolutely love this pattern paper so much. So that was that. This is one side, and this is the other side. I like this side more, definitely. This one, I really love the um, like um, antique linen color look on the edge of the paper. Can you guys see that? Love that. I love how it's got that old um, tape, you know, like the cellar tape that's been stuck on the paper and it's like the colors changed. I love that look. I love this page too. I can definitely fussy cut out the letters and things. And this is really nice as well. But I like this page a lot more. Really, really pretty. Look at this, you guys. Really pretty. This I love too because of like as if like a coffee's been splattered on there and things. But I like this side a lot more. Really pretty. Love this um, burlap look as well. But this is the side that I truly love. Absolutely love this page. I, I would definitely cut them apart and use it in my journal making. And then you get a repeat of the sheets. So um, I thought, how great is that? I get to have two of each in the pack. So I thought that was amazing. And this was on sale for $7.50. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, that was really good find for me. I couldn't believe it, you guys. Okay, this is another bargain. Okay, so this is an Amy Tangerine paper pad. My boys have been trying to convince me to buy this paper pad for so long. And I always said no because they were selling this for like $28, I think, before. But this was the only paper pad at that Spotlight um, branch. And it had a clearance ticket as well. And it was $12. Now this one is not damaged at all, as you can see. So I had to pay the $12, but honestly, you guys, for people in Australia, $12 for a 12 by 12 paper pad, that's from America, that's absolutely amazing bargain. So my boy said to me, mommy, you must buy it this time. And I said, okay, since it's on clearance price, I will buy it. And Spencer said to me, that he would like several sheets from this uh, collection so he can make boxes out of it because he loves making uh, gift boxes because he learned how to fold them at school. The major um, favorite pattern paper for me is the bubble tea. I really love that. And I did not realize it had peacock paper as well. So let me share with you what's in this paper pad. It's an Amy Tangerine one. I don't know what it's called. Does it say anywhere? I don't know. But anyway, it's one of the older um, designs. 
I love cut apart pages, of course, and there's a um, cactus. So I thought, okay, I'll make my husband a birthday card with it on the, you know, sometime. And it's got strawberries, it's got rainbow, um, it has camera. I love the heart sunglasses. I love that it has a large cut apart piece of the peacock, which I will use for a journal. So this is a page I have discovered that I didn't know this paper pad had, and I absolutely love it. Look at that. Really love the peacock here. And then there's this page and this. This is what I've always wanted to have, but they weren't selling this individually anywhere. So I finally have it. And I have two in here because I think it repeats the pattern. So this is a pair one. I love the pair. These are the shoes. The rainbow, I really wish they had printed it a little bit larger and not on a black background. I don't like that, but I'm sure I can use that for something. Beautiful colors in this one. I love the strawberry. Nice um, bright colors. I think this paper pad will be really good for making cards. I think as well. I love this one. This is a really nice pattern. And I like this cheerful um, paper as well. I love the lemon because I am making a lemon journal too. I think I did use some of this because um, I think Michelle from Michelle's Makery sent me some. So I did use this in my bee journal. So that's where it's from. Watermelon is always nice to have. Happy colors. Here's a sewing journal. Now sewing is the month um, theme for April and I have completed my sewing journal, so I won't be using this. I will use this for my peacock journal and it repeats. So this for $12 was really great. So I was super happy and my boys were super happy that I finally got it. Okay, let me put that down. I also found this. Now this was on sale as well. This is from Kaiser Craft, which is an Australian scrapbooking company. And I just had to buy this because it had adorable um, joeys and things like wombat, koala, cockatoo, which is all Australian animals. And I think I will make an album for my boys with it. I will do a quick share of what it comes with. So it comes with a bonus sheet of stickers. I love Kaiser Craft sticker sheets because they give you like border stickers as well. That's called Wombat. And here's Koala at the top here. You see the Koala? So that's the sticker sheet. And you get two of each, it seems like. Really nice, um, is it what you call gingham? Oh, look at this cockatoo at the top. Look at that. Um, Christopher really likes cockatoo. So you get two of those. And then this is the cut apart sheet. I really love this cut apart sheet. You see the wombat? And this is a eucalyptus. I am um, severely allergic to eucalyptus, you guys, so I have to be very careful. When I did the skin test, um, I found out I was severely allergic to uh, eucalyptus. So I do not use any eucalyptus things. So there's that, so you get two of those. And here's the adorable koala. Look at the sweet koala. I do use a koala um, letter paper when I send out my mails and everybody loves them. Look at this beautiful color. Really, really pretty. And this is probably like an olive green. Really, really nice. This is the other side. And look at this. I love the um, watercolor effect on this paper. Really love that. Love the star and the moon. This is the other side. And this is a polka dot page. Really pretty. And look at this. 
Look at all of the sweet Australian animals and bird. Isn't that precious? So I think I will enjoy using this to make like an album for my boys, to store my boys and pictures and things. So let's put that aside. Drink some water. And this was on sale too. So I got the, they call it the collectibles. Oh, this collection is called Tiny Miracles. So I think it's like supposed to be like a baby theme goodie. But I don't have to use the baby one. These are some doily. And what's great about Kaiser Craft Ephemera is that the, the cardstock that they use is just amazing. Really, really great quality. I'll put that there. Look at this. Absolutely adorable. And the wombat. And these are, oh, look at that. Is that a kangaroo in there? Oh my gosh. So cute. Or Joey. And the koala. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name for this one. I had it in my head, but it just went away. Here's cockatoo. Christopher loves cockatoo. And cockatoo sometimes comes visit us in the garden too. It says, we adore you. Oh, I got two of those. I'm not sure if you're meant to have two. Bundle of joy. Uh, this one says, dream big, little one. Tape measure. These are all the little words. I love the um, font that they used. Really beautiful colors. I am loving this so much. And you get lots of little word pieces. Floral pieces, tag pieces. Really, really sweet. Absolutely sweet. And music paper as well. So I really love the fact that this was all on sale and that I got to find it. There was a bargain bin and it had this for clearance for $1. And this is, I'm gonna open it, because I have to put it away anyway. This is some Christmas reindeer, which I will use for Christmas time. I love that, that it was dollar. And then I found this, this is clearance as well. Um, this is Mrs. Buttons Gold Speckle Roses, five pack. So it's got like, um, I just really love the, Oh, I might have to rip it. I just really love that the fact that it was... Okay, I'm going to just cut this off. Where is this? I thought the packaging was really cool because I can use it as a bookmark. Because it comes with this chain. And it's on this uh, fluorescent pink stripe. That's how they're holding it. It's a button, I reckon. So I just have to pull one out, pull that out, and it's a button. But if I don't want to use it as a button, I can take that off as well. But it's really pretty. Look at that, you guys. Really pretty. Let me put it up close for you all. That's really pretty, and it's a really wonderful size. I really, really love it. And then, so let me move that to the side. And then they had these on sale as well, six by sixes. And these were all $6, which is amazing for Australians as well. So I'll just do a quick flip. This one's from American Craft. It says every day. I don't know if this is a discontinued stuff. So but in, in Australia, just got it. Actually, why am I doing it like that? I need to cut the side. I already um, took off the sticker for one side. And then I forgot to take off the other side. I'll just do a quick flip. It's got really happy, bright colors and lovely um, background patterns and things. So I thought for $6, that's just amazing. 
this one is by, this is Garden Party by Pebbles. I wish the cutter parts were a bit bigger. So this might be a discontinued product in America, I reckon. That Australians just got it um, at a cheaper price maybe. So the Spotlight was able to sell it for $6. But this is what got me. The seed packet page. This is what truly got me and I will be definitely creating something with that. And this page. I love this page. Yeah, that's what really got me. And, and this floral paper, it's just so pretty as well. And the green color is really nice. Super nice. Let's repeat with that, you guys. Polka dot, that one's probably my least favorite. Look at that, that's sweet, isn't it? Really sweet. Bumblebee paper. Really, really sweet. So that was another one. And then I found this one. And this one I had to really get. I don't normally buy a lot of bow bunny ones. But this one I really liked because of the bright, happy colors. Show you like this. Look at that, you guys. I love that. Reminds me of orange juice, reminds me of sunshine, happiness. I love this mixed media page. Just super pretty. The yellow is like so vibrant. Look at that sunshine page. Squiggles. And then the rest just is a repeat. But look at that heart page too. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Yeah, so it just repeats, but I have plenty to work with. So that's it's everything I got from Spotlight. And of course, my boys got, you know, some stickers and things as well. They always grab things. And Spencer found another set of um, Easter egg um, containers that had the bunny ears and the chicky faces. And he absolutely had fun time with me. He said it was a really good trip. He also got to, we also got to visit the... Um, pet store right next to the spotlight so we got to have a look at the um, fish tanks and things we didn't get to see any cats because he likes to have a little say hello to them when we're there if we ever go to that spotlight but there wasn't any cats available so we just said hello to all the fish anyway thank you so much for being here and i will come back with some other videos soon bye everybody